Okay. <clears throat> Instructions and the book. Okay. I want to talk tonight about uh, how to read the Bible. Okay. <clears throat> This is St. Mark, verse uh, chapter 5, verse 25. It says, A certain woman which had an issue of blood for 12 years and suffered many things from the physicians and had spent all that she had and nothing was nothing better, but rather grew worse. <clears throat> and when she had heard of Jesus, in the press behind behind and touched his garment. She came in the press, I said, behind and touched his garment. For she says, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of the plague, of that plague. <clears throat> okay, now Jesus turned around and says, Who touched me and all that? So, um, but I just want to talk about this part of what we just read. Okay? And when you read something, you take it in the most common text. A lot of people, man, they try to add stuff to it that it don't say by saying, This actually represents something else. Uh, like for instance people say that uh, the Bible says no man knows the day or the hour but when it says no man knows the day or the hour that's actually a representation of another scripture uh, which does let you know the day and the hour okay so <clears throat> and this is what it says the most the most common meaning okay and you you have to leave it within the subject of of its um, context okay and if some people say well you can't mix scripture well now if you if you see a scripture in the revelation that's talking about love and you see a scripture in uh, Genesis that's talking about love, then it's okay to say, hey, this is this matches this, you know. You just got to use a little bit of common sense. If it's talking about the same thing, you know, a scripture in the front of the Bible that's talking about King David, it's okay to say that this scripture is talking about King David in the back of the Bible, even though it's talking about two different subjects. It's still King David, you know. And just like just like any other scripture in the Bible, the the Bible fits together like a big jigsaw puzzle. You know, you're not going to understand the whole thing the first time you read it, but you have to you have to draw your the mosaic of your mind as far as the Bible is concerned by by reading and putting together those scripture that is uh, that is that has been committed to memory okay <clears throat> and know this too okay God does not cross his word he won't cross his word God will not back up and we can a uh, uh, at a wrong that he, if he said it's wrong it's wrong he will never agree with it okay read it in that context I always tell people that the Bible excuse me for a second here while I rub my eyeball <laughs> I always tell people that the Bible is God's love letter to us the whole thing was written to us in the, in the context of love it's written for us 
it's not written to um, to hound you. It's not written in spite of you. But the Bible, but God, He put this whole thing together for our benefit, for our good. Amen. The Bible says all things work together to the good of those who love God, God who are called according to His purpose. And His Word works in that same like fashion. Amen. The same like fashion. So, all right. I thought I would give you a lowdown on how to how to interpret Scripture, and actually it's done from the understanding of the author. If you understand the God who wrote Scripture, then you can have a greater understanding of what it's talking about. Okay. All right. God bless. Thank you for joining me, and we will see you again next time on another great with another great subject right here on Cross the Middle Ministry.